is inhabited only by the dead. It's a warning to you. Today woods are possessed by evil. The Dracula Saga is the story of a cursed family. My own family. When my grandfather invited me to his castle in the Carpathian Mountains, I found a strange family. The tombs at the cemetery. The cemetery? Why? Are you referring to that bell? I'm referring to the gravestones of my grandfather and cousins as though they were interred there. Delightful during the day. And horrible at night, when the most terrifying events took place. If you really find yourselves in trouble, we beg of you. <laughs> I want to know. Can you hear? I got walled in by the invisible bonds of these beings, whose truth I was beginning to discover. My grandfather, his new wife, my cousins, the little monster Valerio, and my own husband. Until at last I realized that I was trapped, a prisoner among vampires. The Dracula saga is the story of my fight against them. And now I had to attack them and destroy them with my own hands. <laughs> it was an uneven fight. I was fighting beings who appeared to be alive, but however, were dead. Evil flood to Tepes, Count Dracula. It's grandfather. The Dracula saga. This is my story, a strange, incredible story. I can't tell you the ending, and when you see it, don't you divulge it either. <laughs>